Hi, Terry here with a walkthrough of my new mini album using Graphic 45's Home Sweet Home collection. It measures 9 by 7 inches by 3 inches wide. I used mostly the 12 by 12 paper, but I also used some 8 by 8. And then the cover, I have some chipboard from the collection. And I made these flowers using um, Heartfelt Creations Tattered Blossoms Stamp and Die Cut Dies. These are made by Spellbinders, but. And the leaves were from Heartfelt Creations, too. This is a 4x6 from the paper collection. Uh, some gingham ribbon. I used some satin ribbon for the two corners of the spine. Spine is blank. And the back, there's a place where you can write something about your album. Place up here, you can title it if you want. This is a space for a 5 by 7 photo on the chipboard here. This is a, from the 8 by 8 stack. It's a little bit smaller. little journal note. Another flower. For the inner flowers, I used, uh, I just made a cut a circle out of paper and put perfect pearls on it. I wanted to keep my keep the thickness down so the book wouldn't get too fat. And you open this ribbon. Well, first you can take out this which opens. Put four by six photos in there. I got some buttons. Open this. You have another place for a 4 by 6 photo. This pocket has a little cutout from the collection. Of oh, these corner pieces are from Spellbinders also. The Garden Weave die. And this, is a space to put a picture, is from Anna Griffin. It's their Flourish Embellishment die. Emblem. Flourish Emblem die. And then you can open this and you can put two pictures here. You can slide a picture behind there. And journaling spot. You got two. Here's a 4x6 photo mat and a 5x7 photo mat. You can put a picture here as well. This, you open it like this and pull it right out. 4x6. You could put recipes in here if you'd like. This is 5x7. A little journaling spot. And here you can Put more 4x6 photos. It's a little journaling tag. Right, more chipboard and die cuts. And 5x7 spot. Here's some buttons and this one's the same, only this one opens different. Photo mat. Another little journaling tag. And this is one. This one comes from the eight by eight. Pad, paper pad, and again, here is a journaling spot, big one. This has a magnet holding it closed. It's a 5 by 7, 4 by 6 photo mat, 
four by six. Did I show you that already? And here's also closed by a magnet. It opens like this. Four by six. Five by seven. Or four by six. You can put a four by six in there too. Here's a waterfall. Lift up like this. Journaling tag. Little place to write something there. Put a picture here, and then there's all these. Help close with a magnet. I didn't mention that I also have a magnet on, yeah, right here. There's magnets that'll hold this in. Magnet, two magnets underneath here that'll hold it upright, and a magnet will hold it closed here. So I hope I got everything. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.